you like to raise awareness about what the SGO is and does? Um, I think the best way to do it is just by like talking to people. Um, I love talking to people, so just like going up and telling people about it, letting them know what it is, and like telling them how to figure out, and like going online and just like voting and everything, just talking and texting and just going to class. I agree with Erica. I think the best way is to go around and talk with people because they don't want to fill out a survey. They don't want to go online. They want to talk to you. They want to find out your ideas, what you're about. They want to hear it one-on-one -on -one with you. They don't want to hear it from the computer or a message. I think being personable is the best way to go about that. I think everyone will um, be more informed about SGO once we hang posters of who's running and how to vote and everything like that. Definitely speaking to people, but um, I definitely think once we hang posters and hand out flyers, people will be curious and ask us. And definitely they're going to want to know the candidates that are running and people that aren't present right now. Hopefully they will seek more information if they have questions. Well, one thing that we could also do is um, we all have our own personal networks of friends. So we could possibly even go to our friends and ask them to spread the news around of what we're trying to accomplish, what we're trying to do, and just kind of trust that each person can continue passing on the message. And at the same time, while people would understand what we're talking about, they would also hear it from a trusted source. So I think that that would be an effective way. I think that we can do like as everyone else mentioned, just going around and talking to people, maybe having like a special like kind of SGO day to like spread awareness of it. And I know that like we can probably like hang up more like informational flyers and stuff. And I think we should get the faculty involved in like kind of spreading the word because I feel like that would be very, very like helpful. Um, I think one of the most important things is to lead by example. Um, it doesn't mean anything if you go around like and just ask people. You have to follow through. You have to prove to them that you are there to like serve them to to like cater to their needs. If you're just going around and like getting their opinions, but you don't like enforce and you don't like provide things that they've asked for, um, it kind of means nothing. So I think following through with the different things that the student body wants is one of the most important ways to prove to them that we are capable of doing these things and to show them what we are about. Well, going last, of course, I go agree with everything everybody just said. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to get stuff done is by, we rep everybody that's on student government represents the student body. That's what you do. You represent the student body. If you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it, People take notice of that. He said, well, oh, well, he said he was going to get this done. He said he was going to get that done. Well, then they're going to go tell everybody else. He made a promise, he didn't do it. So sticking to your guns, saying if you're going to, if you promise to do something, you got to make sure you do it. And by going out and talking to people, that's how you get the word spread. Okay, and the following question comes from an audience member who is also a current member of the SGO. What personality trait or aspect of your life would serve as a struggle to you being on the SGO? In other words, what is something that is difficult for you? Something that would be difficult for me. I'm not the most organized person, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, that's about the only one thing I can think of off the top of my head. <laughs> I'm not the most organized person and I'm working on that. That'd be my personal trait. I never was when I was in the Army. So, um, Talking in front of people, kind of like what I'm doing now, is not one of my strong points. I get very nervous, but I'm hoping that with SGO, I'll be able to um, work on that and grow, and that I will be um, a strong speaker through the process. Um, I think that managing stress, like, because I get stressed out really easily, and so hopefully, like, I can. You know, being an SGO kind of makes me feel like better. Like I mean, just like trying to manage it better. The most detrimental thing that I can think of is that I have to make things perfect for everybody. So 
I realized that there are many solutions to each problem, so I would be the one caught up trying to make everything work for each individual rather than focusing on what the majority of students need, so that, that would definitely slow me down. Sometimes it's hard to manage time, especially when we're really busy with lots of schoolwork and um, other clubs too. I know I'm very involved, but I do feel like I have the free time um, to put toward SGO and be a really strong member, but I know sometimes it's a time crunch to try to do everything you want to do. You know, college happens once, we're all trying to make the right decisions and do everything. So I definitely think um, it's important for me to manage my time well to make sure I have time to do everything. My biggest problem would probably be trying to be everywhere at once. I can't do it, but I try. And between work and school and homework and all the different clubs, but it's definitely doable, but I just need a little bit better time management. Um, I agree with Rachel because I work and it seems like it's really hard to come to these things on a Tuesday because that's when I usually work, but I'm already dealing with that by re reworking my hours and starting to like work on the weekends in the morning instead of working on Tuesdays all through the day. And I guess like another issue would be me being able to remember things, but I also work on that because I'm already buying myself a calendar so I can write things down so I'm able to like be at a certain place at a certain time and yeah. <laughs> Okay, the following question comes from current SGO Vice President Marco Sumter, and it's a modification of that question. He would like to know um, who, what examples from history you have of a good role model, who you consider to be a good role model for leadership, and how you like that person. Um, the only person like that I can even think of that could make me a good role model, that could be a good role model for me and like help with leadership isn't someone like from history but it's like my mom because she she I grew up with just my mom so she's the person who I always look for for advice and she's really successful she has me and my other two sisters she is already going back to school to get another degree so she can be on um, the board of ed and so like just watching her be able to go back to school and still getting 100% in all of her classes and seeing how she can fit school and a seven-year-old sister plus a 27-year-old sister plus like I me mean, he's 18 all like in the picture and still find ways to like deal with me graduating high school my sister being married and my other sister growing up so just being her or like being near her is like the best role model ever a big role model in my life was one of my high school teachers. She was absolutely awesome. She was one of the best teachers that I ever had. She had two kids. She was the, um, uh, she led the National Honor Society there. She taught a Pilates class at night. Like, she did everything and she was the best teacher that I honestly ever had and it's someone that I definitely want to grow up to be like because right now I'm in the education program and she's someone that I would want to be. My biggest role model is my high school guidance counselor because when any of her kids had individual problems she would always take them on and talk to them one on one and no matter what she was doing she always put her students first and I know a couple times I had scheduling conflicts and I don't know how she managed to take on everybody's problems at once but um, just the care she took to individual students was really important to me and that's something I want to bring to SGO and care about each student's concerns and needs. I know it's already been said and it's probably obvious, but my mother is definitely my role model. She has managed to have three kids, two grandchildren. She works full time and she works a lot with um, in healthcare with people that truly need help and don't have anywhere else to go. And she taught me a lot of the compassion and respect that I need to have to deal with other people. And she also taught me how important honesty is even if you don't agree with um, say the point of view like um, I know that every story has two sides but to always tell things matter-of-factly without trying to sway someone and also she is 
going back to school after however many years um, of just nursing and she's just had two surgeries and she is the best daughter to my grandmother and the way that she manages to take care of everyone at the same time as well as getting great grades I don't know I just have to say she's amazing I think that um, my role model from history would probably be Martin Luther King Jr. because he he was a very good leader you know he stood up for what he believed in and kind of like change the course of history forever and you know just making a difference like I feel like it's just so big and I would like follow in his footsteps and just go out for what I believe in and <coughs> represent like people and like kind of make their voices heard. Um, I think a great leader from history that we can all learn something from um, would be like Stonewall Jackson. Um, he was like a leader in I think it was the Civil War, <laughs> but don't hold me to that. Um, he, was, okay. he was in the Civil War. Um, he like continued to like lead like his men like after he was wounded, and they called him Stonewall Jackson because like even after like he was shot and everything, he like had like a face like stone, like you, sh you saw no emotion. He just continued like to lead everyone, and that kind of goes back to what I was saying about um, it's really easy to lead when things are going great for you, but. Um, the greatest leaders come out like when there's conflict and I think he really proved that um, he really like led his men and like proved himself um, even after everything he went through. Uh, I too am going to take a general. Um, I'm going to go with George Patton. He took care of his men through all the whole North Africa campaign and then during World War II and then all the way up through Italy and he was always there. He's known as the soldier's general. He was always there with the soldiers. He led from the front, and he's just a great model uh, citizen for everybody to try to emulate. 